We're here. Yeah. Let's go check the P.O. box. Here it is. Let's see. You want to hold on to that? Yeah. I'll take this. We have to pick something up in here. Mission accomplished at the post office. Welcome back, Can you say mail time? Mail time! As you saw, we went to the post office box. Bro. <laughs> we, got, we got the copy kit over here. Yesterday we did end up going to the post office the box. Post box. We went to the post office box yesterday. We picked up some packages and some letters that we want to share with you today. This is a good time to bring up the featured comments from yesterday's video. I mentioned that I was planning to fire Clark and I was looking to see if anyone was interested in replacing him. And we've got some good applicants here that I thought I'd share with you. First up, we've got Andrew6077 who says, I'll audition, but I won't be as cute as Clark. That's just a given, I understand. I'm still interested in having you apply. Next up, we got Alex14Cool who's been featured before on this channel. He says, I can be your new son. I specialize in Star Wars Lego and I'm very friendly. I live in the UK, but if I get the job, I'll fly out to the States and be your new assistant. That is the kind of dedication I'm looking for, my friend. The next applicant admits that he's not quite qualified. This is from the Master Builder. He says, I'm a little too old, but I'll take one set a month. I think that's pretty fair, but again, I need to maybe have like a follow-up interview with all of you guys where we can see what your mini finger building skills are, how good you can name them. I need to see how well you can drop pieces. I mean, there's a lot that goes into replacing the Clark Man. I want my toy. Go ahead, grab whatever you want over there, buddy. I want our one. You want to get into the Bionicles? Yeah. All right, this could get a little dangerous. Whoa. Okay, go ahead and take whatever you want out of there, dude. I had a feeling you were going to choose that one. Is that what you want? Yeah. He's kind of all broken and stuff, but you can play with it. You guys can see how much of a diva he's gotten to be. He's got to have a toy all the time. I do want to feature one other comment here. This is from Boston Rocker, who has a follow-up question on the last video. It says, so is it a crab or a lobster? And I think Psycho Gamer answered it best. It's a cropster. I think we covered all of our back business. Let's get on to the mail time. I mentioned this in my blog yesterday on Greg's World. If you want to see that video, I'll pop it up up here. It's so exciting to go to the post office box and get stuff out of there. It's really cool and I'm excited to share this with you. So let's get into these letters and stuff here. As you can see on these, I blocked out the addresses to protect the innocent. Ready? Yeah. We got a letter. This one is from Jinblade8304, who is a subscriber to this channel. I actually love his videos. Let's have story time with Greg and Clark. This starts out, Greg and Clark. Hey guys, I run a Lego channel you're subscribed to. Jinblade8304. Yep. I've been watching your channel since mid-September of 2017. I have four questions for you. If you could answer them, I would really appreciate it. One, can you please include Roxy Bear in more videos? I think Roxy is adorable and should be in more videos. Absolutely. Actually, if you want to see a lot of videos of Roxy, check out my other vlog channel. She's got a playlist of probably like 150 videos right now of her growing up from this tiny little puppy the day we got her all the way up until now. But yeah, I'll try to put her in some more Lego videos. To be honest, she's more of a fan of the traditional Lego videos where you just have the hands and the white box reviewing. And you know, I just can't get on board with that. So that's kind of why I keep her out of the videos. Number two, what do you use for editing your videos? And do you recommend it? I use the most basic of programs. I use mm. iMovie, and it comes free with uh, it comes free when you buy an Apple computer. And I love it. I could probably learn Final Cut Pro and pay the three hundred dollars for it, but iMovie works just fine for what I do. I don't do any kind of complicated or advanced things here. It's just a matter of recording, and I just kind of cut it up to make it a cohesive story. Number three, I've been doing the thirty day Lego challenge. Previously, I was mostly an Ninjago YouTuber. I'm looking uh, to become a non theme specific Lego YouTuber. Do you have any tips on how to do that? This is one that I really want to answer. What I recommend to anybody that's looking to start a YouTube channel or a Lego YouTube channel specifically is make it about yourself. Don't make it about the set. People aren't going to watch your channel every day because you're talking about a pizza van. They're going to watch and they're going to come back because they're invested in you and your story and that's what we do here. This channel is our Lego vlog. People don't watch every day just because they want to see a new set, which maybe some do I suppose, but it's about getting personal and sharing everything that you can and, and putting that out there. Are you eyeballing more Lego sets? 
Yeah. And number four, do you think Clark Man will take over the Brickatech channel? What I picture happening probably is that I'll probably just make Clark a channel and then he can do whatever he wants on there, whether that's Lego or otherwise. I'm sure he's gonna be some type of vlogger. I think it's gonna be really cool to see the world from a little kid's eyes. Like if he's five years old and he's making all these videos about like what's important to him, what he's interested in, what he's doing today, I think that's really cool. And again, I encourage anybody, whether it's a Lego channel or a non-Lego channel, make a YouTube channel, share what you want to share with the world, and I guarantee if you stick with it, people will watch it. Thank you for reading this. Signed, Jinblade8304. Thank you for the letter. Do appreciate that. Clark Man is giving your letter a hug. That's how much we appreciate it. Next letter doesn't have a name on it, but it comes from Texas. Texas is pretty far from us. Yeah. It says, Dear Greg and Clark, I love your channel and watch every day. One time you replied to my comment and that made my face light up. That's that's really nice. I wish I could reply to everybody. The comments have been getting kind of crazy lately with the number of them, not the content of the comments. I would enjoy it if you would build the spaceship. Haha! -ha. I have it and I built two of the models. It is a great set. I suggest you get three of it. They would look great together. I also ask you to give me a quick little shout out and show this letter um, also. Did the power functions come up for your train? Me and my brother have three. They are really fun. Love Levi. P.S. Build the ATAT. -AT. P.S.S. Hashtag bring back minifig Monday. That's a really nice letter you sent there. Uh, to answer your question, well, obviously you saw me build the spaceship. This is dated January 9th, 2018, so he actually sent that out slightly before I built that, but you got to see all three models of that if you've been staying tuned. Love that set, by the way. I'm sure you guys realize that. I've been hyping that up like crazy. He wants me to build the at, -AT. He's talking about my heavy assault walker. I'm gonna get to that, my friend. I know there's been a ton of people that are harassing me about building that. I'm gonna do it. I need a special occasion, like I said. His other thing, Bring Back Mini Fig Monday. That was a series I did back when I started YouTube. I did a mini figure every Monday. I did it for a very long time, but then I just kind of got bored with it. It's just kind of boring just being like, here's an example of what my Mini Fig Mondays used to be like. This is a Lego mini figure. She's got a yellow face and uh, red lips. Looks like she has a light blue shirt on with some very nice back printing. And if you take her helmet off, she has no hair. I don't know guys, that kind of just isn't my style anymore to do the traditional reviews. I just like sharing our experience like we've been doing. And again, I think it's very important to do that if you're making a Lego channel. Levi, thank you so much for the letter. Really do appreciate that. And uh, we will get that set built for you here, hopefully sooner rather than later. Next letter we have here is a mystery. Who could this one be from? Okay. Oh, we got a couple little things in here. Here, you might like this, Clark, man. This shows all of the minifigures from the Lego Ninjago movie blind bags, which we should probably get some of those. Do you want to see that? Yeah. You want to look at that? He's going to like this. Wow. Let's look at some fish. Some fish. Blah, 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 blah. What else is on there? Mayfinger. Lego Ninjago Mayfingers. Lego Ninjago Mayfingers. Is that cool? Lego Ninjago Mayfingers. <laughs> Wow. I'll go on the back. What's on the back? You know, I got mailed. I got mailed. Hmm. Oh, yeah. A little bot. Wow. I got mailed a little bot. Here's something else for you here. What? There's all the Lego Batman movie blind bags. Batman. Where's the Joker? Oh, where's Joker? So he's right here on the beach. It's Batman. Hey, Ned, look. So dolphin. <laughs> also inside there is a very beautiful note here. Oh, wow. This is really cool. Check this out. There's art all over this. Let's see here. This is Robin. Yeah, there's Robin on there? Robin's on there. Wow. This letter says, Dear Greg, thank you for the great videos. I have really enjoyed watching your Lego journey unfold. Recently, I scraped up some pieces from my collection to make a brick deck logo. I think Clark Man makes your videos so funny and enjoyable. That's a fact. I hope you keep collecting and making videos for a lot longer from Riley. And one question, do you make videos same day? Yes, I do. Right now, it is, it is 10.38 a.m. This video will be live at 3 p.m. today, Eastern Standard Time, Eastern Daylight Time. So. It's all kind of the same day when I wake up in the morning and even up until right now, this video is not even done yet and you're gonna be watching it this afternoon, hopefully. Clark, see you in the next video. Clark, I want a mini finger. Thank you so much for that, Riley. I do appreciate that. You wanna see some pictures? Yeah. Yeah, it's a mini finger. 
Okay. Yeah, it is. I plan to keep everything that people send us. I think it's really cool. So we got one more package. This one is from Mock Monster 17. What do you think's in here? Let's see. What's in I'm gonna peek first. <gasps> you are gonna go crazy when you see what's in here. <laughs> hold on, hold on. We're gonna read the letter first, okay? Before I show you what's in here. You are gonna go nuts. Toad! Toad! <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so this says, this says Rogue One, may the toads be with you. And if you guys didn't know, that is Toad from Star Wars. I don't care what anybody says his name is, that is Toad. Next up, before I show Clark what's in here and he loses his mind, this says, Dear Greg and Clark, I really like watching your channel every day. When I get home from school, I get really excited because I get to watch your channel. Your channel is what inspired me to start my channel. I only recently started my channel and I have five subs. Oh boy. Oh my goodness, the big hug returns. He's, he's gonna choke me out, I gotta finish this. It says, the only reason I only do daily uploads on my channel is because you do it on yours. I wanted to thank you for this, so I sent you this fan mail. Oh, I'm so sorry, guys. This is from Alec T, Mock Monster 17. Hopefully I can share this. You see how happy he is just with that piece of paper. Wait until you see what this is. Why don't you open this up? Okay, let's show them first. Here is Mock Monster Whoa, 17 sent us all these mini fingers. Who's that? That's the wing. Who is that? I don't know. That's Superman. That's who you were for Superman. Halloween. He what sent him that? a Superman mini finger. I find a piece. It says this piece goes on the floor. All right. I need you to do me a big favor, Clark man. Can you throw that on the floor? Yes. The video is complete, but not really. We got a lot more to do here. Let's open these bad boys up. Oh my goodness, Clark, man. Look at all of those mini fingers. What is this? We're gonna add that to your collection. And of course we got... Spider-Man. No, Superman, crazy. Superman's Halloween. Yeah. Okay. It's a bird! Tweet, tweet! That is so thoughtful of Mock Monster to send that stuff to you. He knows you love mini fingers. Mock Monster's already blowing up here. He's up at the 10, and I'm gonna be number 11. Lego shelf tour. Hmm. What's up, guys? Mock Monster here, and today I'm going to be giving you a tour of some of my IKEA oh, shelves that we recently got. I love an organized collection, my friend. I'm gonna wrap this video up by asking you guys another question, and that is. What do you want me to build tomorrow? I want to build a crater set. Here are the choices. We've got Chopper Transporter. We've got Super Soar. We've got Sunset Street Bike. We've got Island Adventures. We've got Lighthouse Point, which I think may be a little bit too big for tomorrow's build. Must I break that up into a couple days? And then we also have the Mighty Dinosaur set. So I think that is all of the creator sets that I have. Let me know which one I should build tomorrow and we'll get her done. These sets really aren't very good for Clark Man, so this might be one that he kind of bails out on. A shark. Oh. A shark. Yeah, there's a shark. I built that one, but that doesn't mean we can't build these for a second time if you want to. Hope you guys enjoyed this mail time video. I know it ran a little long, but I really do want to show everything that people send us and I really do appreciate it. So thank you so much. Thanks for the gifts for Clark Man. And as always,